I have to say thanks to Learning Bird for the subject of today's video. So quids, I'm waiting for you to smash heads with the West Midlands Police Department for almost suggesting that kids that use Linux and open source are potential delinquents. Oh yes, because aren't we all potential delinquents for using open source? And I have to admit at the time, yeah, I missed that news article and this is a week later, so yeah, it is well and truly old. But uh, and there's a few other bits I can talk about with it, and yeah, it does reference there that DistroTube did a video on the subject. I've not watched that, but I'm sure mine will be different. So here's the news article in question from ZDNet, and there was a poster put up in school. So what is on a child's computer? Tor, a browser used to access the dark web. Ooh, the dark web, scary stuff. Virtual machines can hide operating systems not normally found on a computer, like Kali Linux. And Kali Linux is an operating system often used for hacking. Anything else? Any other purposes? Does it have penetration testing? Training? A Wi-Fi pineapple is a bit of kit that can be used to capture sensitive data over the internet. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not, not, not over the internet. The clue is in the name. It says Wi-Fi. First word. No, it can use to capture data over a Wi-Fi connection. And Discord is a popular communication platform often used to share hacking tips. What, nothing else at all? Oh dear. A Metasploit is a penetration software that makes hacking simple. No, no. So if you see any of these on their computer or have a child you think is hacking, let us know so we can give advice and engage them in positive diversions. And thanks to the distraction there for my phone, Okay, but that does lead us to the point in how can you teach someone about a subject who won't necessarily be interested in learning about it. And this goes for IT as a whole, not just for hacking, pen testing. But what West Midlands Police have done here just really is not good. I have to say that uh, South Wales Police seem to have done a lot better job. This was from a talk I went to a while back with them, and uh, it's a little book of cyber scams. Aimed more at businesses, but... Um, I had to say I found that an interesting presentation to listen to and you could actually see the audience who otherwise wouldn't normally be listening to something like this did actually take an interest and learn things about it. So I've, I'll link to a video where I actually look through this booklet. I thought that was a really good idea of what they did. Okay, let's look a bit more about this story. So it's first highlighted on Twitter by at GIW Gareth Inman Walker who is a white hat open source geek. Great, I'm sure you'd recognize all the mistakes with this poster. So yeah, that was posted onto Twitter. The National Crime Agency uh, immediately uh, removed all involvement of it or denied all involvement. So the NCA was not involved in the production or release of this poster. There are legitimate reasons for using these tools and using them does not necessarily mean a child is involved in cybercrime. Great, that sums it up perfectly. And there's more advice on their website. And this is it here. Yeah. I will admit I've not actually looked through this website before, but uh, they seem to have done a much better job. Well, <laughs> it's more simpler anyway, and not actually accusing anyone who's using certain software of anything. Should I pay a ransom to unlock my computer? Yeah, if you've had something like CryptoLocker, they're actually saying to not do it. Don't pay the ransom, but... I've seen so many times in the news that companies have paid the ransom, and that is funding crime and terrorism. Has his username and password have been stolen? Yeah. Might have a malware on the device, received suspicious email, where my banking details are stolen. So it's a lot simpler, really, for guidance. Well, I suppose that's guidance when you've potentially identified an issue. So let's see what West Midlands Police had to say about the poster, and they're saying it was produced by a third party and was created as an aid memoir to assist teachers with safeguarding in schools. It was taken from wider information on cyber tools, which could be used to commit cyber attacks, but equally have legitimate purposes. <laughs> it was a third party, blame them. Yes, yes, blame that one over there. We, we just contracted it and had no further involvement. We didn't check it at all. What kind of nonsense is that? <sighs> Someone paid for it to be created, but then never did any further checks on it. And Gareth Ilman Walker actually produced a better version of the poster, a suitable replacement. What is on a child's computer? 
Tor is a browser that helps protect users' identity, especially useful in repressive surveillance states. Essential learning if your child wants to go into journalism. <laughs> Virtual machines are extremely useful to test software in a safe environment that does not risk the stability, security, and running of your core operating system on your child's computer. Congratulations on buying your child's computer capable of running this, <laughs> by the way. True. Kali Linux is a Debian-based Linux distribution geared towards security and penetration testing systems and networks. It is used all over the world by professionals to improve the security of organisations, companies, and even UK local authorities. Oh yes, what a dig at the West Midlands local authority there. And about Wi-Fi Pineapple, congratulations, your child has taken a healthy interest in Wi-Fi network security and may be able to help you out with weaknesses in your home Wi-Fi. That said, I'd probably be more concerned if your child has one of these where they got the $100 or $200 that they cost. Discord is probably the most popular voice chat server in the world used by gamers. If your child is using this, they're far from likely to be using it to rip, rip people a new one on Fortnite than they are hacking. Metasploit is another framework of penetration testing systems and networks. Like Kali Linux, it too is used all over the world by professionals to chest, test resilience of vital systems, essential for modern world to tick over. Yes, very true, all of that. If you see any of these on their computer, with the possible exception of Discord, then congratulations, your child has taken a healthy interest in systems and network security. In the modern world, with increasing threats to vital national systems, your country would need more people with these skills than ever before to protect against malicious actors and hostile states. You may have raised a future hero defending your nation from cyber warfare. Be proud! <laughs> that is a very nice poster. I think they should use that in the schools. So go on, Walsall Council. Use that instead of your other garbage piece of misinformation. Anyway, that was the news about West Midlands Police putting out this utter garbage saying that all these programs that uh, have multiple purposes, uh, they're just basically accusing children of hacking. To be honest, I would be encouraging children to take an interest in that subject because the cybersecurity industry is always getting bigger. It's never getting smaller. So it's a good place to earn a living in. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.